Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be proving that 0 divided by 0 is equal to 2. So, how am I going to prove this? Well, let's first start by writing out 0 over 0. So we're going to ignore the equals 2 for a moment and just start with 0 over 0. Well, 0 over 0, this is the same thing as 0 is the same thing as 1 minus 1, meaning 0 over 0, I can write this as 1 minus 1 over 1 minus 1. All right, and this is right because 1 minus 1 is 0, so this is the same thing as 0 over 0. Now this, if this is true, then this means that this is also the same thing as 10 minus 10. And I have this over 10 minus 10 as well. So these two are the same thing. And if this is true, then this is also the same thing as 100 minus 100. So I have 100 minus 100 over 100 minus 100. So because all of this is true, now I can start by making things a little more complicated. So let me rewrite this over here. I have 100 minus 100 over 100 minus 100. And now I'm going to change things up a little bit. 100, 100 is the same thing as 10 times 10, right? So for my denominator, I'm going to write this as 10 times 10, because 100 is 10 times 10, minus, I have 100 again, so 10 times 10 again. And for my numerator, what I'm going to do is, well, 10 times 10, that's the same thing as 10 squared, right? So for my numerator, I'm going to write 10 squared minus 10 squared. And the reason why I did this is because if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b, right? So in this case, I have 10 squared minus 10 squared, and a and b are the same thing. So a is 10, and so is b. b is 10 as well. So I get 10 plus 10 times 10 minus 10, and I have this over 10 times 10 minus 10 times 10. And now this is the same thing as 10 plus 10 times 10 minus 10 over, for my denominator, what I'm going to do is factor out 10. So if I factor out 10, I get 10 times, well, 10 times 10 divided by 10 is simply 10. And again, 10 times 10 divided by 10 is 10 again. So I have 10 times 10 minus 10. Now from here, what I'm going to do is cancel out these two 10 minus 10s. So if I cancel these two out, I get 10 plus 10 over 10. And well, 10 plus 10, that's 20. So I have 20 over 10, and 20 divided by 10 is 2. So there, I just proved that 0, oops, sorry, 0 over 0 is equal to 2. So obviously, 0 over 0 is not 2. So where did I go wrong? Well, I went wrong right here. Remember how I canceled out the 10 minus 10 over 10 minus 10? Well, what is 10 minus 10? 10 minus 10 is 0. So that's saying that 0 divided by 0 is 1. 
And I can't cancel these two out because 0 divided by 0 is not 1. So that is wrong. And 0 divided by 0 is not equal to 2. Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Academics. In today's video, we're going to be finding the minimum value of x to the power of 4 minus 4x. And this is a concept that many people struggle with, finding the million, minimum value of an expression. So how do we do this? Well, what I want to do, the simplest way, is I'm going to take the derivative of this. And if you guys don't know what the derivative is, is basically, let's say we have x squared. What I do is I move the 2 to the front, so I multiply 2 with this number, and then I subtract 1 from the exponent. So this is going to be 2x, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So x to the power of 3 now would be 3x, and 3 minus 1 is 2. So this means that x to the power of 4 is going to be 4x to the power of 3. And I have this minus 4x, which we just multiply 1 with this, which is just 4, and then we subtract 1. x to the power of 0 is just 1, so I'm just left with 4. So I have 4, 4x to the power of 3 minus 4. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this equal to 0. So from here, I can factor out 4. So I get 4 times x to the power of 3 minus 1 equals 0. And this means that I have x to the power of 3 minus 1 equals 0, meaning x to the power of 3 is equal to 1, and x is equal to 1. So this is my minimum value. Thank you guys for watching, and please make sure to subscribe.